All it matters is we are consciousness having an experience. And we know that we're consciousness having an experience. What does it matter? Does what, you know, Ethel say about me matter to consciousness? Oh, I'm, I'm all that is, has been and ever will be. And I'm really hurt at what you've just said. I mean, please, mind cares. Because mind is the village idiot compared with consciousness in the state that mind has, has, has de uh, descended into. And taking responsibility is taking power back. You know, so often we, we want to externalize things that are happening in our, in our lives to other people. You know, you know why I'm in this state? It's what that woman did to me in 1963. I've never forgotten. We're still, it's all your fault. You're the reason I'm in this state. And then you realize that actually we are expressing um, an energetic vibrational version of us all the time. It's called vibes. And if we could get into a real deep level of it, we'd realize what I call this magnetic attraction is actually creating our reality all the time. The manipulators know that. If they can bring you into certain states of being, certain states of stress, certain states of fear, they know that by doing that, you are going to generate the vibrational frequency of those emotional states and you are going to draw other um, uh, sinking energies, other stressful, fearful emotional states towards you. And therefore, they are actually creating your reality by manipulating your state of being. They know how this works. And if we take responsibility, as Carl Jung said, people will do anything, no matter how absurd, in order to avoid facing their own soul. However absurd, to avoid facing their own responsibility. And people um, just, just need to realize, and, and as we all do, that by taking responsibility for what happens to us is taking our power back. Because if we're saying someone else is responsible for what is happening to us, we are saying we are not in control of our lives, we are not in control of our reality, some external force is. And it will be if that's the way we see it. But if we say, I am responsible for what I am creating, what is it about me that's pulling this in, why does this pain in the ass come into my uh, life and not into his? What is it? You take responsibility and what you're saying is, I have the power to control my reality. I've just got to take responsibility for what's happening and then realize why it's happening. And, and with that realization, the vibrational uh, frequency I'm uh, broadcasting changes and we stop um, pulling that kind of thing into our lives anymore. We changed our reality. I mean, many people in this room will know that when you go through a change of uh, uh, state of consciousness, state of awareness, state of perception, then many people go out of your life that were in before and other people come in. Changes happen in your life. Some of them you don't like, but what it is, it's just the old... Uh, uh, life created by the old energy field, created from the old perception, breaking down so another one can come in. And, and it happens because when we change, our energy changes, and therefore what it attracts changes our experienced uh, reality within the decoded holographic world changes because we are in control if only we realize that and take it back and so instead of blaming everyone else because while we are fighting among ourselves and blaming everyone else for what's happening to us it's just an individual reflection or expression of the energy that leads to wars on a collective level and it's interesting you know <laughs> When you, when you start to change your perception and you, you want to be spiritual, as they say, what kind of goes on in your mind is, when I'm, now, I, now I want to be spiritual, 
everything's going to change and I'm going to go down leafy lanes with little nymphs and butterflies are going to drop on my arm and it's going to be lovely because I'm spiritual now and what happens all hell often breaks loose in your life it bloody well did in mine and what happens then is we think if this is spirituality two years into this journey of mine conscious journey I thought if this is spirituality you can stick it this is no fun um, because everything in my life broke down but when we start to understand what's happening in the way that I'm talking about now, if we understand what's happening, then the pain of that breakdown can be very, very much diminished. Because what we're putting out before the change is our vibrational fields that attract certain vibrational fields back, which we call a life, people, places, ways of life, experiences. When we, when we change and shift our consciousness, there is that transitional point where the old construct, vibrational construct starts to break down so the new one can come in and if the old one doesn't break down the new one can't come in and at that time we experience it as all hell's breaking loose in our lives but what's actually happening is the old is crumbling so the new can be and on a collective level I'm more and more convinced that is what we're experiencing now we're experiencing the breakdown of the old collective order as this vibrational change moves on which I'll get to in a second and we're experiencing that breaking down and it seems as if the world's falling apart and the Illuminati and all that think they're responsible for it I wonder if they really are about responsible for this whole breaking down of the paradigm and the construct because what it gives us the opportunity to do is to break out of the enslavement of the old structure the old system and and build another one put another one in its place and I think there's a very good chance that what we're actually witnessing in what appears to be a very frightening thing with all the breakdown and the economy and all the rest of it is actually the old collective energy construct breaking down so when you can take its place what you fight you become consciousness doesn't fight I want to fight for peace, I want to fight for justice. Once you fight, you set up a fight with someone else and you start a conflict. Waste of time. Freedom fighters, contradiction in terms. We don't have to fight for freedom, we just have to be free. Refuse not to be free. Refuse to have our freedom taken away. Refuse to lie to ourselves to um, avoid facing responsibility that we're in control of our lives if we take that responsibility back instead of saying I'm unlucky it's just it always happens to me it's a nice day you watch something come along and spoil it all this stuff I'm so unlucky you watch something will go wrong I oh, fully enough it will because you're creating it life's not about luck it's about what we how we perceive and therefore what we experience by creating what we perceive this as I said earlier is like a movie screen by the time it gets here in this play out reality of experience it's a done deal it's all over there's no changing it the only way to change it is to change the real get to the point where this is being projected from and that means going within to the deeper levels of self it's what I call um, ceasing to comb the mirror. You know, when you're combing your hair, you don't comb the mirror. Because your hair is not going to change, because the mirror is just a reflection. You've got to comb your hair, the origin, and then the mirror will reflect that. And what we're doing, and what we're manipulated to do, all the time is comb the mirror. To look out here for answers to things that are being generated from within here. Our state of being, our state of perception, our states of belief. It's in here that we change the decoding system that leads to the play out experience that we call physical life. You know, for me, I, I read some... Uh, some figures recently that said something like 98% of human behavior doesn't come from the conscious mind but originates in the subconscious mind. I would go further than that. I would say 100% of our experience in this reality 
comes from the con uh, subconscious mind. And the conscious mind, what we